Hello, I am Flash Isaac. This is Flash Ninas. You are now watching 120 Days to Jam. This is a series containing 120 videos to prepare you for jam. Each episode of the series contains introduction, outline, detailed class, questions, and homework for you. The questions and homework are from the Flash Learners Jam application. Install Flash Learners Jam app today to access all the free features. Click activate and scroll to buy activation key to get access to the golden features. Don't be scared, the app is affordable. Do you have trust issues? Simply chat me directly on Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, and Telegram for installation and activation instruction. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to take off. This is the episode 9 of 120 Days to Jump Mathematics with Flash Isaac. So far, we've done much under number basis and we've also done much under profits and loss percent calculation. Let's look at a question that involves calculating profit and also involving number basis at the same time. And we shall also look at about three, four, five questions in total to conclude number basis, then profit and loss account. So we can proceed to other parts of the topic. This question says, have they bought 210 virus at A20, which is the price, and sold them at A33 each. If all reckonings are in base 4, calculate his profit in base 10. This question is trying to tell you that everything we've been reading is in base 4. Which means, are they bought 200 and 210 barrels? That is, number of barrels is equals 210 base 10. At A20, that is the amount. So, the amount is 220 base 4. Sold them at A33 each. So the selling price is equals 33 base 4 per 1 per 1. We already know that profit is equals cost price. No, selling price. minus cost price not just selling price the total selling price and here not just cost price the total cost price if you buy or you bought 20 item one for 10 naira the 20 will simply be 20 times 10 that is 200 naira that is your total cost price if you sold 20 items each for 20 naira your total selling price is 20 times 20, which is the amount per each times the number you are selling. We know that the cost price is 210 base 4 times 20 base 4. We also know that the selling price is the number bought, that's 210 base 4 times 33 base 4. Since our answer should be in base 10, we simply convert each of them to base 10. Look at something else. What if they had told us to keep our answers in base 4? That is simple. We convert to base 10, solve, get our final answer, then we from that answer convert back to base 4. So these things are easy. Anything they ask us to do, we will know how to do it. One thing I'm begging you is, don't learn to forget. Even if it involves you going back to episode 1, watching all the episodes repeatedly, do it. 
So 210 base 4 to base 10 is equals 2 times 4 plus 1 times 4 plus 0 times 4. 0, 1, 2. 4 times 4 squared is 16 times 2. 32 plus 4 plus 0. This is 36 base 10. 2, 0 base 4 to base 10. This is 2 times 4 plus 0 times 4. 0, 1. 8. This equals 8 base 10. What does that mean? The cost price is 36 times 8. 3, 3 base 4 is 3 times 4 plus 3 times 4. 0, 1. 12 plus 3. 4 is 4, 0 is 1. 3 times 1, 3. So 12 plus 3 is 15 base 10. So the selling price is the quantity bought, which is in base 10, 36, times amount per 1, times 15. So with this, food is very, very ready. In the sense that the profit is... Selling price, 3, 6 times 1, 5, minus cost price, 3, 6 times 8. So if you solve it the best way you can, you should be able to get 252 as your answer. Yes, that is 540 minus 288. 540, 288. If... 113 base S is equals 41 base 8. Find S. So this is in base S and this is in base 8. I already told you to solve questions like this. Convert everything to base 10. So 1 times S plus 1 times S plus 3 times S is equals 4 times 8 plus 1 times 8, 0, 1, 0, 1, 2. So, you see, by the time you are used to all these things, solving becomes very, very fast. Before you know, you solve everything. Profit, uh, practice makes perfect. And to whom much is given, should not run away with it. <laughs> so, this will give you S squared plus s plus 3 is equals this is 1 this is 4 times 8 16 plus 16 32 plus 1 33 so s squared plus s minus 30 is equals 0 so this has led us to quadratic equation if you solve it you get s is equals minus 6 or S is equal to 5. So we go with the positive value. So S is equal to 5. Evaluate 202 base 3 squared minus 112 base 3 squared. This is in base 3. This is in base 3. So we are asked to solve them. To solve this question, this is what you do. You convert here to base 10 and you convert here to base 10. Let me see the answer I got. Here I got here in base 10, I got 20. Here in base 10, I got 14. So converting this to base 10 to base 10, 20 and 14. So 20 squared is 400 and 14 squared is 149. So everything here is 204 base 10. So this to base 10, this to base 10, you square and you got this. Simply because it is difficult for us to solve this straight in base 3. Now that you've gotten your answer in base 10, and the question did not tell us 
to leave our answer in base 10. We therefore need to convert to the base which we are given. Which means convert 204 base 10 back to base 3. How do you convert from base 10 to any other base? You simply keep dividing and keeping your remainder. 204 divided by 3, that is 68 remainder 0. You divide by 3 again to give you um, 22. That should be remainder 2. You divide by 3 again to give you 22 divided by 3. That is 7 remainder 1. Because 7 times 3 is 21. So remainder 1. 3 again. 7 divided by 3. That should be 2. Remainder 1. 3 here. Yeah? 2 divided by 3. 2 is smaller than 3. So 0 remainder d2. So from down to bottom is 2, 1, 1, 2, 0. Let me see. 2, 1, 1, 2, 0. That is the answer back in base 3. All these things are very, very simple. Convert the number 3, 2, 4, base 5. Converted to base 7 is dash. So far, we've converted numbers from base 10 to other bases, where you do repeated division. We've converted numbers from other bases to base 10, where you multiply by the bases and decrease the power. In this case, we are converting between other bases, from, other, from one base to another, without involving, without base 10 in the, in the discussion, which means converting between bases other than base 10. To convert between other bases, first convert to base 10. Then from base 10, you convert to the given base. What am I trying to say? In this question, convert 3, 2, 4, base 5. 3, 2, 4, base 5 to base 7. You first of all convert to base 10. How do you convert to base 10? 3 times 5 raised to the power of 2 plus 2 times 5 raised to the power of 1 plus 4 times 5 raised to the power of 0. Converting to base 10, you should get 8, 9, base 10. Now that it's in base 10, from base 10, convert to base 7, which is 89, 7, by repeated division. 89 divided by 7, that is 12 remainder 5. 12 remainder 5. Then 7 divided by 12 divided by 7, that is 1 remainder 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, yes, 1 remainder 5. 1 divided by 7, 0 remainder 1. So that will give you 155 by 7. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you are enjoying the class and I hope you enjoyed this revision episode. Assignment is from the Flash Learn Jam application. Open your app or uh, click on question search. Search number basis. Answer the questions that follow. Search percentage profit. Answer the questions that follow. If you can't solve any of them, reach me on my social handles. That is it. See you in the next episode.